the collapse is now under investigation. Police in New Jersey tonight breaking up a multi-million dollar drug network. Investigators say the suspects are responsible for growing the largest amount of marijuana in the state's history. At least three people are now under arrest, but investigators are searching for more. Tony Yates is in Monroe Township tonight with much more on the story. Tony. And Liz, this operation had been going on for more than two years. The downfall, though, came last month when a young Monroe Township police officer who was following a DUI suspect suddenly smelled pot in the air. Five large suburban homes from the outside who knew their basements and bedrooms were being used for a massive marijuana growing operation similar to this illegal setup. We will continue to target these criminal enterprises. Now that we know what's going on, we'll know better how to address them. 44-year-old Thu Nguyen, a Canadian national, was the first suspect busted at this ranch home in Monroe Township, all because a passing patrol officer followed his nose, smelling stalks burning in the fireplace he called for backup. We didn't realize it was coming down the chimney until we exited our vehicles and began to approach the house. We believe we thought it was coming from behind the house. As we got closer, we, we, believe, we saw it coming out of the chimney. And Police recovered more than a thousand plants from this house with his foil covered insulation covering the windows. Police say the suspects even had a way to mask the massive amounts of power they were using to light and warm the plants, which usually is a tip off to police. So they actually jumped into the wire, again, avoiding the meter directly into the wire running into the house. So far, three people, including Wynn and two naturalized U.S. citizens, have been arrested. Three are on the run, including one who may have fled to Thailand. In all, police recovered nearly 3,400 plants, 115,000 pounds of harvested marijuana worth $400,000 and $65,000 in cash. Neighbors near the largest indoor crop said they had no clue what was happening next door. I never smelled, smelled the thing, which is even scarier to know that, like I said, it's going on, and that's what they're doing. So we had no idea. None of the neighbors knew. Never smelled anything? Nothing. That young officer, Lukasiewicz, getting credit for scoring a big one for the state. All of the bigwigs giving him a pat on the back today. As for the investigation, police are still looking for more suspects or more homes being used in this operation. For now, we're live in Monroe Township, Tony Yates, Channel 7 